Hi, today I am reviewing the Farmer's Blend Coffee. It's a Vietnamese coffee. I was reading a little bit about this brand and they marinate the beans in New Zealand butter and rum. And the New Zealand butter is Anchor brand, which is, has free range cows. It's a very high quality, well known New Zealand brand. The, the beans are very dark and rich, as you can see. The aroma is very good. It's very strong. I like a robust coffee in the morning. I'm going to use my little grinder, a hand grinder, to grind up some coffee beans this morning. And I was reading that a traditional way to serve Vietnamese coffee is to use a metal filter like this, a pour over style. You can also use French press, French press or drip, and to sweeten it with a little sweetened condensed milk. And also it's good if you pour it over ice, so it's like an iced coffee, nice and sweet. I love sweet coffee. I also like to drink it black as well. I'm a coffee fan. I have a regular French press, a small miniature one cup filter press, and I also have this nice little pour over. And I've also got the usual drip. But for this, today, I thought I would grind up some beans fresh and use the pour over method since that was uh, suggested in the information. So, since it's a very strong blend, I'm just going to use one and a third tablespoons. It says uh, 10 grams on the package here. I was looking at the little directions, it gives you some options, which is about um, four teaspoons or so. I looked on the internet and I did a rough grind and then I have my water ready. It's a little pour over filter. And I use a filtered uh, reverse osmosis um, setup on my on my um, water, so that way the water doesn't have any impurities in it. This little pour over style brews quickly. You can also vary it by grinding the beans very fine for a regular ten cup brewer. As you can see, it's a very, very dark, robust blend. Delicious. If you like a very bold, strong flavor coffee, this is it. This is exactly what I like. I don't like weak, watered down coffees. This is very, very good. Now, I'm going to um, cool this down a little bit with um, some cream. Uh, you can also do uh, iced with milk. That's another way to serve it. And uh, I recommend this. It's very good. It's got a very strong, robust flavor. I love that. So um, it's used in um, using German technology. They take the Vietnamese coffee. I was reading a little bit about it. They do not have organic certification in, in the Vietnam um, country, but they do work directly with the farm. Uh, they ensure that they don't use pesticides and they don't have uh, GMO coffee beans. It's uh, the way they source their beans are as if they're organic. And they ship them after they're um, shipped to Germany and they're processed with the New Zealand butter and rum marinate. They roast the beans and then they immediately seal them up and they air freight them to the United States. So they come to uh, shipped quickly. Uh, it's fair trade certified. If you're looking on the package, and you're studying some of the things and looking up the company. There's a uh, fair trade certified direct from farm label. I think that's really important when we're working with uh, countries to make sure that the companies that we're purchasing from have high standards and they're also supporting uh, farmers that that source and grow their beans like that as well. So it's very good. I recommend it. It's very bold and rich. It's got a very uh, complex flavor. And, and definitely not going to get this kind of coffee um, from your regular 
um, you know, normal coffee sources unless you're searching, you know, a robust, rich flavor. And it's very good. I recommend it. Thank you very much.